Hello, my name is Ethan, and welcome back to another episode of Path of Exile Crucible League 3.21. Uh, in this episode, while well, we have something surprising, I didn't expect this, it kind of just came out of nowhere. Uh, apparently, they data mined the patch, and so they got I, I the min they got the crucible nodes for tier five uh, leaked, and then I took all the minion ones and uh, have some spoilers uh, coming up. Okay, here we go. Get ready. All minion crucible nodes. So yeah, spoilers of the upcoming season. Uh, so this is Spectres and oh, and some of this obviously is like could be changed. Isn't like this isn't we're not the game isn't out yet. So it, this is just what was leaked. So. Um, Buyer beware. <laughs> you didn't buy anything, but you know what I mean. So specters and zombies gain adrenaline for X seconds when raised. Uh, we don't know how long. So like some of the information is missing. It could also be different. It could be, it could be changed. Um, subject to change. Uh, and then adrenaline. Adrenaline grants the following: 100% increased damage, 25% attack cast, and move speed, 10% fizz damage reduction. So for how long when raised? Because if it's forever. All right, and then we have uh, apparently stone golem impale on hit if same number of carry on golems. So if you had a hybrid build of carry on and stone, and you had like two of these two weapons or something with this tier five stone golem and then carry on golem, but it's of chaos, chaos golem for the carry on golem. So let's say you just have <laughs> you have the same number of stone as carry on, and you have one weapon. And then your stones get 100% impale. And then you could do the same for carry-on with chaos golem. So if you have, let's say, two carry-on, two chaos, you could get 100% impale for your carry-on. 100% uh, impale for your chaos golem if you have the same number of stone golems. And um, these are all, like, buff ones where you don't really need to stack them. So, yeah. Elemental golems got different ones. So instead of flame golem, lightning golem, and ice golem getting special ones like this with impale, they got max life is doubled. Uh, skeletons and holy relics convert percent fizz damage to a random element uh so we don't know how much but yeah skeletons and holy relic uh this is this is pretty cool trigger level 20 blink arrow when you attack with a mirror arrow trigger level 20 mirror arrow when you attack with a blink arrow whoa Dominating blow and absolution additive minion damage modifiers apply to you at 150% value. So it's like that scourge weapon. Um, the scourge, but... Or like using the tree. Making uh, the minion damage affect you. Uh, so then there's this. <laughs> Max uh, number of summon support ghosts is two, uh, three. Max number of summon phantasms is limited to three. Um, and then this one, Summon Phantasms, has a Diamond Shrine and Massive Shrine. Diamond Shrines, uh, you always deal crit. So they go from 5 crit to 100 crit and Massive Shrine without, without any crit investment, but you lose 17 Phantasms or 10 Phantasms, depending on if you're using the Soul Rest or not. And then Massive Shrine, you have increased life area of effect and size. Um, so big life. Uh, they do piercing. I don't know how AoE is really going to affect this, and, um, size. They're going to be big phantasms, so that's already cool. And then, uh, oh my god, the same thing for Summon Raging Spirit. Three SRS that has a Diamond Shrine and Massive Shrine. So the SRS is going to always crit, have extra life, and AoE, and size, and you can only have three. What happens if you use that helmet? Uh, and then this one. Storm and Armageddon brands can be attached to your summon Reaper. So you got like a brand recall minion that like travels around and brings the brands. Mobile brands with a Reaper. That's, that's, that's pretty cool, right? 
So where does this leave us? Well, I'd like to know your thoughts and opinions on these uh, tier 5 nodes we are able to achieve for our minions. Uh, these are all the ones I can find. Maybe I missed some. Let me know if I missed any as well. Um, we'll discuss them, but like the main ones, yeah, adrenaline for seconds, we'll see. Um, and this is the buff potential. And then you have double Ellie golem life, and you have impale on the fizz golems, and then you have uh, <laughs> skellies dealing and holy relic dealing random Ellie from fizz. Um, we'll see the percent and the, the trigger, both of them is pretty cool. And, uh, this applying to yourself for these two. So absolution and Dom below, um, people are going to be doing a lot of damage without even using a unique weapon. Like that's really powerful to be able to free up your weapon slot with just the, uh, eh. So then Diamond Shrine and Massive Shrine for the Phantasms is pretty cool. And same with the SRS. So let me know what you guys think about that. Always crits. Like, you don't need your uh, host chieftains. You don't need power charges. You don't need any crit chance. You you just build crit multi. <laughs> and then big damage. And then, yeah, the Reaper mobile thing. It's going to be pretty cool. If, if people can keep it alive and then, yeah. Because it'll, like, move. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think of all this stuff. There's a lot here. And we'll see if they're actually different when we end up playing the game. Or if there's anything where we were missing. Oh, an, <clears throat> an honorable mention. Uh, I seem to not be able to find offerings. I thought you'd be able to find one. And then uh, the egg, the heralds I couldn't find either. I couldn't find Herald of Agony or Herald of Purity in this list. Um... Like, there's some stuff that I... Oh, and I couldn't find, like, anime weapon, anime guardian very clearly, very specifically. It was, like, I'm not sure if the what it's saying is affecting these. Um, so, there's some stuff uh, we don't have all of it, right? This is most of it, but, yeah, well, actually, well, this is fun to... For fun, like, te teasers and stuff. Everyone's looking at the leaks, so figured I would, too. 100% increased damage. That attack speed and the fizz damage reduction. How long? 100% <laughs> impale double Ellie golem life. The fizz to random Ellie. How much? How much? 150. That's literally the scourge if you guys haven't seen it. It's so funny. And like always crits. That's that's pretty strong, but this is a big cost. Big cost. It reminds me of... Dude, it's that uh glove enchant. You get three, or it's like the weapon where you only had three, and they're immune, and they're permanent. Um... But they're not... They just have 100% crit and stuff in this case, but uh the... The other one would be you have it on a weapon as a weapon mod, like you get some skulls and then, or the glove enchant, um, commandment of the grave or something, and then it summons those skulls and they do pretty good damage. And if they always crit and thing, they do a lot too. And you only have three, and if they, <laughs> yeah, it's actually gonna be gonna be pretty good. I wonder what it, uh, I I'm most curious about what everyone else is thinking about this. What you guys are thinking about the, the these things that we have available. And these are just additional mods that are just pure new skill trees that don't take away from what we have right now. It's just additional power. So it's gigantic power creep, right? Uh, my final thing to say for the video, I think, uh, to end it off, is that... Uh... <laughs> This stuff should be the tier 5 uh, nodes, so this should be the rarest, the hardest, and um, then you have to still have, like, so let's say it's a unique, then it's done, but in the case of a uh, normal item, then you'd still have to craft it up and finish the item with the tree on top of it, so, yeah, um, but then this would be, like, the most rare one, and the, the you'd only have one of these, or you have, like, two weapons, maybe, and so, so maybe you could have two, and, and do, how do these stack, and, oh, uh, it's gonna be so weird in some of these cases, it's actually so interesting, but yeah.
just wanted to say that that these are the tier fives and that we should only have one per weapon um per tree at the final part and it should be the hardest one to unlock so you wouldn't have it right away either this will be like the end game yeah if you've ever used a zombie then like the video and if you guys are new to the channel and uh still waiting for that leak starter and looking forward to the new season and all these new tier five notables then uh hit that subscribe button so you guys are notified of the next video thank you guys for watching now i'd like to thank my patreon and youtube members who financially support the channel thank you guys so much for the support rico 549 david steven with a ph uh, steven with a v cynic hannes lewis nicholas white wolf and n8 thank you guys so much for the support bye